As we move deeper into the 21st century, a new global superpower is emerging in space exploration, and it's not who you might expect. China is making waves with its ambitious goals to become a leading space power, and they're now building two new ground stations in East Antarctica. What do these new facilities mean for China's space power, and what does it mean for the rest of the world? Welcome to the Seeker's Edge, where we seek knowledge that'll give you an edge in life. Let's begin. First off, let's take a look at China's current space program. China's space program is rapidly advancing and ambitious program that aims to establish China as a major player in space exploration and technology. China's space program has made significant strides in recent years, with several successful missions and ambitious plans for the future. China's Space Administration is run by the Chinese National Space Administration, the CNSA, which was established by in 1993. Since then, the program has achieved a number of notable milestones, including the launch of China's first satellite, Dong Fang Hong 1, in 1970, the first Chinese astronaut, Taikonaut, to go into space in 2003, and the first Chinese space station, Taing Long 1, in 2011. China's space program is focused on a number of key areas, including human spaceflight, robotic exploration, and space science. In recent years, China has launched a series of ambitious missions, including the Zhangyi Lunar Exploration Program, which has sent a series of robotic missions to Mars, and the Tianwen-1 Mars mission, which successfully landed a rover on Mars in 2021. China has also established its own satellite navigation system, Baidou, which aims to provide a global navigation network similar to the U.S. GPS system. China has also launched a number of high-resolution Earth observation satellites for scientific research, disaster monitoring, and military surveillance. Looking ahead, China has several ambitious plans for its space program, and they're not stopping until they become a global space power. That's why the government is planning on investing in building new stations all over the world. The Chinese government is set to build two new ground stations in Zhongshan Station, East Antarctica, to bolster its space capabilities. These facilities will provide crucial support for China's growing number of satellites, including those involved in Earth observation, communications, and navigation. However, China's ambitious goals have raised concerns among other nations, particularly with regard to potential spying and military activities in Antarctica. Some experts fear that the presence of China's space infrastructure could be used to gather intelligence on other countries' activities in the region, or to develop offensive space capabilities. With the expansion of its space facilities, China aims to become a leading space power, alongside the United States and Russia. This move is part of the Chinese government's broader goal of becoming a major player in the global space industry, as it seeks to leverage cutting-edge technology to gain an advantage in areas such as national security, economic development, and scientific research. For a country to develop their space power, they need to expand their ground station network. Ground stations are critical components of space situational awareness and provide crucial support for communication, navigation, and surveillance of satellites and spacecraft in orbit. China has been repeatedly expanding its ground station network over the past few years to support its growing number of satellites and ambitious space exploration goals. China's ground station network includes the China Deep Space Network, CDSN, and the China Satellite Launch and Tracking Control General, CLTC. The CDSN is responsible for deep space missions, including the Chang'e Lunar Exploration Program and Mars missions, while the CLTC manages satellite launches and tracking. China has also been building ground stations in strategic locations around the world, including South America, Africa, and Antarctica. In Antarctica, China plans to build two ground stations at the Zhongshan Station in East Antarctica, these ground stations will support China's polar orbiting Earth observation satellites and other space missions. While China claims that its ground station network is, for peaceful purposes, the expansion of its capabilities in remote and strategic locations like Antarctica raises concerns about the potential military applications, including space-based surveillance and reconnaissance. The new ground stations in Antarctica are just the beginning for China. Because the country has ambitious plans to become a leading space power with a rapidly expanding space program that includes the launch of more than 60 space missions in 2023, in addition, China is expanding its Tiangong space station, which is expected to become fully operational by 2022. Uh, one of China's key space assets is its Baidu satellite navigation system, which is similar to the U.S. global positioning system and the European Union's Galileo system. Baidao is an important system for China's national security and economic development, and it's currently used for a wide range of applications, 
including transportation, agriculture, and disaster relief. China has also been rapidly increasing the number of satellites in its space program, with a growing network of ground support stations and facilities to support its space organizations and operations. This includes the previous mentioned China Deep Space Network and the China Satellite Launch and Tracking Control General, which are located in various parts of the world, including South America, Africa, and Antarctica. These ground stations play a crucial role in space situational awareness by tracking satellites in debris in orbit, and they are an important part of China's efforts to become a leading space power. While China is expanding their space power, other countries are growing very worried. China communicates that their ambitious space program is aimed at advancing scientific research and national security. It also raises concerns about the possible military or espionage uses of that extensive network of satellites and ground stations. One particular concern is the close ties with China's space program and the People's Liberation Army, which leads to speculation about the dual-use nature of some of its space activities. A comparison with other countries' deep space networks, such as the United States Deep Space Network and the European Space Agency's S-Track Network, highlights the differences in transparency and civilian control. The US and Europe have established mechanisms to ensure that their space activities are transparent and civilian-led, while China's space program is largely shrouded in secrecy. Furthermore, there are concerns about the lack of transparency in China's overseas and ground stations, particularly in the Espacio Lejano and ground station in Patagonia, Argentina. Some analysts have raised concerns about the potential for these ground stations to be used for military or espionage purposes. These concerns are compounded by China's increasing number of satellites and the growing ground support network for its space program. While China's space activities have largely been peaceful, the lack of transparency and concerns about its military ties have led to international scrutiny and calls for greater transparency in China's space program. To summarize, China plans to build two ground stations in Zongshan Station, East Antarctica, as part of its growing network of ground stations to support its space program. While this expansion is indicative of China's ambitions to become a leading space power, it also raises concerns about potential military or espionage uses of its satellite and ground station network. Furthermore, with the increasing number of satellites being launched into orbit, there is a growing need to manage space junk from all over the world. It's therefore crucial that countries work together to ensure the sustainability of space activities and prevent the creation of further debris. In conclusion, China's expanding space program has significant implications for global politics, national security, and economic development. And as such, it is essential that countries engage in open and transparent dialogue to address any concerns and work together to ensure the peaceful and sustainable use of space. And that's about it for today, so thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to The Seeker's Edge. And until next time, my friends, adios.